Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is an energy update for you. It's a timeless message and there are many messages here. So please take what resonates for you as it is timeless. Um, whenever you are aligned with this reading, there may be messages for you in here. All right, Pisces, I'm slowing down at this time. I'm guided to do that. Hmm. Just feeling into the moment. So perhaps you are in this process of feeling into the moment or relishing the moment. Hmm. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. Messages for Pisces. Strength. So this is about being strong in something or regulating. The strength card comes when there's something that may be testing our strength or testing our regulation. You know, when they talk, when we talk about that uh, reaction versus responding. So there could be a situation like that around you where you are needing to yeah to regulate to save your emotions to save your energy for your manifestations i feel like there's something here that may that is trying to trigger could be the word and this is to do with your energy centers okay so let's get more strength is also a leo card there may be a leo in the picture eight of cups so this is a lot to do with your manifestations uh the eight of cups is walking away from something <laughs> i'm getting walk away pisces like just to walk away from it yeah okay eight eight may be a significant number for you at this time or even seventeen seventeen so that is the number of the star Knight of Cups. Hmm. An offer coming in. Perhaps someone is walking away from something. Coming towards you perhaps. Or this is you as this Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is also Venus energy. The planet of love. Hmm. Nine of Wands. They need to stand your ground in a situation. Or someone actually held on or stuck on you. Three of Pentacles. So this could be a collaborative effort a kind of a group whether it's a group that you're in or some group on the outside the three of pentacles is also talking about like like that energy that came at the beginning of relishing the moment is that there's something to do with uh, fun here, like uh, having fun in the midst of it all. Yeah, I'm getting something to do with having fun here or like finding the fun in something. Ten of Swords. Okay, now this is someone feeling or like feeling down even with the strength card there was something that came with the energy centers yeah uh so this is exhaustion pisces you may be feeling exhausted at this time now with the knight of cups and three of pentacles it's like uh there's something to do with venus energy and pouring into the the cup 
as well as fun. So if I were to describe this, it is infusing fun in some work that you're doing or something that you're working on because it may feel mundane. Yeah, it may feel mundane. It may also be uh, connected to someone on another side. The chariot. So the chariot is cancer energy. So you may have walked away from something or someone is doing this. The chariot is also an energy of travel. The Eight of Cups is definitely you, Pisces. So someone could be coming towards you or you are moving now from the Eight. You are moving in your balance, like coming back into that balance within and moving in that. So you're riding solo. judgment a major awakening here this is a wake-up call from spirit this is also to do with the retrograde in Pluto or the Pluto retrograde sorry uh, yeah so there's something to do with the power positions that are shifting and someone or it could be a group of people here they're having a rude wake-up call and I'm not even getting a wake-up call like you are comparing or the message is coming to compare your journey with theirs but I think it's a warning here because some people that were sleeping are now getting back up they're now rising but the thing is with all this awakening it's like they're actually it's like they're begging or pleading for more time why is this message here for Pisces seven of cups Energetic disturbance, confusion. This is a need to stay grounded because you may, I feel like you may be picking up on a lot of energies at this time. And the need for you to be grounded. Now there's also that thing of someone raising their hands here. So you may feel like you have many options. So the way to describe many options in this uh, scenario, in this context, is where you know you have a lot of skills. You know you have a lot of gifts. There are many things that you can do and they will turn out well. Now, which one will work best for you? And this is where this many cups come in. Whatever the case, I feel like there's a major awakening coming. So you may be seeing, let's say, 8-8, eight, eight, uh, there's 7-7 seven, seven as well, 11-11, um, 10-10. Eleven, eleven, ten, ten. So there's a, it's like, this is an awakening that will help you to be clear. It's a clarity, it's breakthrough on what path to take going forward. And whatever path you're taking will be successful okay this may be something you're working on and you need a clearer direction yeah i feel like this is about you your own path and your manifestations okay eight of cups and the chariot page of swords so this could be some learning or some information coming towards you 
Now with the Page of Swords, I'm getting another energy here. It's like we're talking about you, your purpose, and everything that could affect that. Um, there's someone watching. It's like on one part, you're looking to improve on what you're doing, on your path. Like get more focused, get clearer. And then there are some people here or someone here who is watching. Tell us more about Page of Swords. The Hanged Man. Okay, that is your energy, looking at things from a different angle. Okay, you may be this person watching to see things from a different angle or to seek enlightenment. Or it could be someone who has gone in to do that. I feel like it could be both sides. And this is what perspective is about, is the fact that we can look at things from different angles. So perhaps this is also a message for you, Pisces, uh, something about your ability and your capacity to look at things from different angles and how you can use that. Now, that also comes with this, something that can feel like the Seven of Cups. So it's to harness that power and see how that builds up to one path. Hmm, okay. How that feeds into your purpose, how that feeds into you. So it's not about hmm, it's not about copying or adopting other people's methods. Hmm. Okay, take this as it resonates because I'm getting this. It's not about like taking other people's methods. It's just seeing how you can be better. So perhaps this is what you're doing, or this is how you this is how you operate. Or it could be someone else doing this. Knight of Cups and Three of Pentacles. Page of Wands. So there could be a message here or kind of messenger or you could be this messenger. The Hierophant. Taurus, Saturn energy. Someone is trying to... Or you could be the one bringing in some news. As this hierophant, this is a high priest. There could be a high priest here. So you are working on bringing news to people. And this is where that fun is coming in. Maybe they need to infuse fun in something or to maybe a form of diversifying or yeah, like making something wider. So there's an expansion that is happening in this process for you. The 5D being. So channeling from spirit to a group of people. There could also be someone here who is trying to bring in a message. I'm not getting they're trying to bring in a message. I feel like this is more of someone who goes around saying stuff. They're spread, spreading some news about you here. Okay. Um, they're spreading some news about you. The Hierophant could be to do with some past commitments. Nine of Wands and Ten of Swords. Five of Swords. Feeling conflicted. Is 
This is a lot to do with the mind space. Also the energetic space. Whatever this is, this caused you like it was traumatic. Uh, emotionally, mentally. Now I feel like you're still standing resilient in this situation. The Hierophant could also be like a community, like where there is some form of, I feel like there's someone who is like a high priest here. And when we talk about high priest, high priestess, people can use this energies for different things. So there's that overlap that I'm getting or a kind of layer where there's someone who acts as a high priest or who behaves like that when actually they are not of love they have their own motives so they're operating from a conflicted perspective and this may have been something that you left or you exited from or oh, you exited okay I see six of wands yeah you left it and there so you have victory with this there could be some major recognition coming in for you now with the six of wands coming with the judgment I feel like this is to do with your own recognition like this is recognition within of something of that clear path forward it's also coming together with recognition on the outside, like be you being known for something or you just knowing within yourself that this is what I, this is what I'm here for. Yeah, I think I got that from one of those cards, purples. Ace of Cups is a new beginning and could be some, something to do with emotions here with the King of Pentacles. So it could be a new journey for you. This is healing. Okay, let me get something from here before we carry on. happiness i am aware that being happy means i am on the right path so yeah this is uh, to do with that fun pisces it may you may feel low of energy or exhausted regarding something here could be some work and it's understandable <laughs> like no judgment here and this is why this judgment came with strength Even with the seven of cups, it's, yeah, it's understandable why there are a lot of activities and why you may feel this way if this applies to you. Now, the only thing I keep getting is like to infuse some kind of um, joy in the work that you do. Like find something that makes you feel comfortable while you're doing it so that you know you are gaining something. And it's not taking too much from you. I'm not getting rest here. I'm just getting more of like pouring into self, emotional flow, like keeping at it, not rest, not so much of that. This is an infusion that is happening. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Yeah, so it's like as all of this is happening, I, I see that change is like a fan movement. So a lot of movement going on. Um, you're also releasing... It's like with you infusing something here, there's something new that you are infusing in your experience in your work 
could be a mindset it could be a, an activity it could be anything I, I feel like it's something little that will change the game is a game changer um, yeah and then you you keep moving with that this failure I don't see it as a bad card to truth be told I don't see it as a bad card when I see this card I'm just looking at it like that and it's coming face to face with stuff like this even the five of swords and seeing them for just what they are and, and that is what it is yeah that is what it is it is what it is now how do we make that experience more enjoyable for ourselves that is the question And these situations have actually made you feel like that. But they don't get to have that power. Not anymore. Because you, you're changing direction. You're changing your, your focus. Worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. One more. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. There is Venus is really strong in your reading and when Venus comes up in a reading yes there is love and we've had the I would say the wrong perception of love for a very long time love is fierce love is truth love sees what it is at any given moment so when Venus comes in is to say it is what it is now, how can you stay in your balance? How can you keep moving with that? Perseverance. I know what I I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. All right, Pisces. Let's get a few more messages for you here. Two of Cups. Two of Cups and Six of Wands are coming on the top of uh, this love card. There could be a love connection here. And if it's not a love connection or a relationship, like more in alignment, this is definitely something to do with alignment. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, there could be someone coming in wanting to collaborate with you. Or it could just be that if it's a relationship that is ongoing, you're having more alignment I would say the bottom line is that balance within with the chariot and two of cups being here yeah that is your alignment of uh, feminine uh, masculine there so some of you are actually riding solo here yeah someone is riding solo at this time with the six of wands so this is about your alignment and your balance So you are going with love, like what truly love is. And for someone, there could be a love connection coming together or being more in balance. I'm guided to, uh, which one? Okay, Chakra Wisdom. Impartiality. Another energy of balance, crown chakra, number seven. Quest, throat chakra. And then I see impasse at the bottom of the deck. It's a kind of reroute. If something doesn't feel like it's working, change direction. How can you keep flowing? Okay. Do you want me to read something here? Failure. Okay. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Life on earth is full of experiences. It is our human brain that views outcomes as good or bad. The soul simply views them as chances to grow. 
learn to see the big picture of life instead of the miniature. Failure to accomplish a task is merely the opportunity to evolve and the negative connotation of the word failure can prevent you from trying again. You must come to the realization that there is no judgment involved with your soul's lessons. Realize that what you view as a failure is just your soul telling you that there is another path. Wow. Embrace the maxim, when one door closes, another one opens. It is a time for you to stop any negative emotional investment you have in the outcome. Revel in the knowingness that everything will reveal itself when it is meant to. No matter what, be true to your dream and the creative process. I mean, this card pretty much summarizes everything that came in the reading. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing because I'm like, yeah, just come and then I read you. But that is the essence. That is what creativity is about. We could get a ready-made meal or cook it by ourselves. At the end of the day, it's the joy that we find in the process that makes us to cook and enjoy our own meal sometimes. So that is the difference here. It's about what you infuse and it's you. You infuse what you bring to the table. So you bring yourself to the table. Angels and ancestors, what do you have for Pisces? Okay. Protection guardian, drop your shields. Uh, impartiality and quest. I'm getting something about confusion as well with the Seven of Cups. So I'll read that because that is to do with your crown chakra. Pisces, there is a higher chance of this kind of situations affecting you amongst the other water signs. Um, yeah, that's because of that involvement of with water therefore like what is high up there the universal chakras okay so i'll start with impartiality this is not a time to personally shine but to allow others to come forth with their gifts you may find yourself in the role of neutral advisor hold the space for others to find their own answers advice may not be well received be unbiased now inspiration take an impartial look at your situation the action here is to listen and observe now i feel like this is about you even what came earlier i feel like this is your time to lay low or step back when it comes to your gifts and being neutral and this is what the hanged man is all about that is definitely you being in your power quests Oh, okay. I'll read quest first. Navy combines the blue of communication with the darkness of the unknown, allowing us to discover the truth. There is bravery here and an ability to face the truth head on. Inspiration. You may be on a quest that is unnecessary. Allow yourself the space for self-discovery. Okay. Personal inquiry. It is time to take a risk. Where in my life do I need to walk my talk? <laughs> this is funny because it's speaking to me as well. Speaking to all of us. Okay. Confusion. When you are in the unknown, it may be little comfort to know that you are safe. Understand that your angels have brought you to this point. You may need more information at this time. Remain still and allow inspiration in. It will come. Through the willingness to be in confusion, we find clarity. There is nothing to solve. Meditation and quiet time will bring clarity. Personal inquiry. Can I see confusion as a good thing? Can I learn to let go of needing an immediate outcome? I'll read the meditation here, Pisces. Close your eyes and visualize the room you are in. Focus on one object in the room. 
when you are relaxed sense the presence of silver cloud so silver cloud is the figure in the picture when the object is no longer visible in your mind's eye relax even more deeply and breathe you are in the place of not knowing it is a completely safe environment ask for the highest good and this shall be really this shall be revealed every silver lining has a cloud okay protection guardian so this is like turning positivity around like this whole reading is saying that it's not every time that we need positivity it's okay to dwell in the confusion what feels like confusion what feels like lack of clarity exhaustion failure you know all of that worry or feeling the need to to, to stand our ground or to watch out for something that could be catastrophic or or detrimental right like something that is like a risk or a hazard uh, it's okay to dwell in that and not mask it with positivity i feel this is all what the reading is about okay and then the protection guardian comes in to say and here we are your guides are here with you how can you simply say i need help or but i feel like pisces you are aligned with this reading then you're definitely right on track with that because you have set an intention to be here this is part of you putting in the work this is part of you being in it just you know being where you are at being in the moment okay protection guardian is also number seven drop any shields of shame resistance and fear that are standing between you and your chances of enjoyment and fun know that you don't need to hide who you are or the gifts that you have you were born to shine you may have encountered shame or embarrassment in your past but that is not your present angels are drawing clothes at this time to help you move beyond any limiting thoughts emotions and patterns that may be making you feel unsafe know that angelic protection is swirling around you at this moment and will help you move forward in a more fearless way call on your guides for help in changing your frequency so you can feel safe and protected at this time you are stronger than you think and your angels and ancestor guides are here to help you realize this now wow pisces thank you so much for sharing this beautiful energy i feel like it's something that a lot of us need to embrace at this time that there's no positivity is what it is and it has its time and then there are times where we just need to we allow we we let it be we let it be all right i'm gonna stop here for now and i'll see you with more videos do take care and much love Bye bye